Hi there, Albuquerque, New Mexico here. I'm going to do a review of the new Eminem album titled The Death of Slim Sadie Coup d'etat. Now, what does a coup d'etat mean? Well, whatever this means, but I'm not who you think that I'm trying to impersonate. I am my own person. But first, let me just prove that to you by taking off my glasses. I, I really do need my glasses to see. Eminem's 12th studio album, The Death of Some Sadie. This is my first album that I've listened throughout the whole thing. I only listened to it like once and twice, kind of, not really. But my thoughts of it are that it's okay. It's great. It's amazing. Like, I didn't expect it to be that good. But there are some things that I did not expect. Like, I thought Dr. Dre would have, like, a vocal performance instead of, instead of just, like, performing some beats for some songs. But, no, nah, he didn't. The angle and some of the story that Eminem was trying to do with, like, his alter ego, Slim Sadie. Like, that's kind of interesting. And, unfortunately, it wrapped up during the middle of the album. So, like, the second half of the album isn't really, like... It's not great, but like it's it's still good, you know. Second song of the album, Habits, is like a like it really captivated me because of like I guess the song and like the hook by White Gold and like Eminem's third verse with that rhyme scheming he did for like 20 seconds straight was like like so good. And there are other good songs, you know. You can just listen to yourself, like the Antichrist. To be honest with you, I have a lot more stuff to say about this album, but really you just, you just need to listen to it to yourself. Like, why do you need a guy on the internet to tell you what you should like, you know? Because you're just going to be biased and just, you know, have your own opinion about it. Like, you know, like, do I have power over you? Do I have power over how you would enjoy your media? Eminem surprised me in this album, and he called back to a lot of stuff. Like, one song in particular, Brand New Dance. Like, the beat on that and, like, the way he raps is straight out of encore. And he actually mentioned it, like, later in the album that it was, like, a deleted encore song. Like, which is wild because encore is pretty trash. Also, Temporary which is Eminem with Skylar Grey. I was wondering when she's gonna appear in the album because Eminem usually does like a love-hate relationship song, but he didn't do that type of song, but instead he did a song about Haley, which isn't new, but it's just somber and melancholic. You really need to listen to it. And of course, Skylar Grey's vocals is so, so perfect. Some of the songs like in the second half Whenever, like, the main plot of it ends, like, it, it kind of drags the album a bit. Eminem's just talking about how great he is and, like, how his status is unmatched and how no one should, like, question him. And, like, the ending track of this album, Somebody Save Me, like, when that song ended, that felt, I felt kind of underwhelmed by that last song, even though it is yet another Haley centered song. Like, it kind of underwhelmed me a bit, and, like, it, it's still a pretty good song, but, like, I just wanted more out of the finale of this album. Overall, I would, it's a pretty good listen. There are lots of, like, like, callbacks to the sound of Eminem, like, through the production and how he raps, and, like, his Slim Sadie persona, I don't know if they used AI, but, like... It sounded exactly like him in the early 2000s, which is great, awesome. I would give this album uh, a pretty good 7 out of 10. Tran. Zissin, have you give this album a listen? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know if I rate it as good as I should. You know that I would. Like, subscribe, or else I'm Slady. We'll kill you. Oh! I made a reference to one of his songs, and now the fans are going crazy, just like M stands. Oh, okay. 
I'm done.